to create a neon glow in your images, use the pen tool just to draw a shape within your image. Create a new layer. Go into the brush, change the brush to white on this new layer using the pen tool, right click on it, stroke path. Click OK. So we now have that. Then hit the backspace key and the lines will disappear. From here, go double click on the layer and go into color overlay. Choose whatever color you are going to work with and you can choose them from this drop down menu here. I'm going to work with pink in this case. Next, go into inner glow and choose an inner glow. If the first time using this, you'll see it set at normal. I normally go to linear dodge and the contour is set to the curve. Then going to choose the size. I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see what I'm doing. And I don't want the size to be too much, but I want the white to show through like that. Click Outer Glow. The Outer Glow this time is set to Linear Dodge again. Normal is the usual setting. This In this case, go to Linear Dodge. Now, how much you add here is entirely up to you. I'm going to go for that. Next, I'm going to get into the drop shadow and I am going to choose a colour from a drop shadow. And the colour is based on the colours that I've already used. And here, I'm going to play with the size of it. If I zoom that back out, you should see a difference here. And there we go. So I'm going to leave that at that. I'm going to get into linear dodge again, just to intensify the brightness of it. And click OK. In here we have the layer with the adjustments we've just made. We now need to increase the size of that glow. What I'm going to do now is create a new layer, go back into the pen, take a brush, and that size is 44. I'm go also going to turn the hardness right down and increase the size of this. So we could go, that was 44, let's go for 133 in this case. I'm also going to choose that color that I was working with. And I'm going to take the pen tool, draw again within this triangle. On this new layer, right click, stroke path, and it will take up the settings we have just made. Click OK. So you can now see that there. I'm going to hit the backspace key, and then I am going to go into linear dodge again. So we've increased the glow already. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the fill back slightly. Next thing we're going to do, select both layers by holding down shift and put them into a group. From here, go into the background, go to select subject. Once that's selected your subject, go back up to group and create a mask. And you'll notice that that is inside the subject with the outer areas missing. From here, click on the mask, control and I. And you'll notice it's now behind the subject. I want to paint it back in over the subject. So go here, go into my brush, paint in white. Increase the size. And I can paint back over my subject. So that's as we've created the neon effect. Above that, we need to create a new adjustment layer. And it's a hue saturation layer. Click colorize. Push the saturation right up. And then move to roughly where your colour was before. That one looks okay. Double click the layer. And in the blend if, hold down alt and grab one half of the slider taking it over towards the lighter areas, which means the shadows won't take up too much of the glow. Click OK. Go back into your group. If you need to make any adjustments, make them here. I'm going to just check through all these and just pull a couple back. Just about there. And I'm go also going to go in to the drop shadow. Double click that. 
and I'm going to pull the size of the drop shadow back just about there, the spread of it, take that in so it's all totally and utterly adjustable outer glow, if you want to move that you can adjust that colour overlay is fine, inner glow we may want to bring that back a bit just about there perhaps move the range to about there click OK so we're nearly done with this last part of it, go into the background, create a new layer go into brushes and download yourself some smoke brushes I'm just going to use that one but I'm also going to adjust the brush so if I go up here and click on that area there I have the shape dynamics which shows me the size jitter and the angle jitter I'm just going to change these and change that and that will allow me to every time I click move the brush will move the colour I'm going to take on is the same colour that I had before so I'm going to click and you'll notice the brush is moving each time so we have that there from here I'm going to create a mask in that layer and I am going to paint in black and using the same brush erase some of the areas just like so then I'm going to drop the opacity of the layer just around there from here I'm going to select the layer I'm then going to go into filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to soften the smoke again if you want to change the overall colour of your neon above the hue saturation layer create a new hue saturation layer in here click colorize and from here push the saturation to 100% choose the colour that you want to go with in this case I'll go for the blue again double click in here hold down alt and apply it to the lighter areas there click OK 